Hey, it's Marco here from Fair Realty, Victoria, BC. Today I'm gonna to talk about should you hire a professional inspector to inspect your completed pre-sale. So I'm talking about you purchase a single family home, town home, or a condo through a showroom, and this product is built in the next year, two years, three years, when it's finished, should you hire at that time a professional inspector? If you go online and do some research, the vast majority of answers you're gonna get are gonna say absolutely yes. I give my clients slightly different advice based on life experience. So first of all, when you're buying a pre-sale contract, the developer or the builder, he or she is bound to provide an occupancy permit uh, so you can complete on that property. If you have the property inspected at the time of completion and the inspector says this is an absolutely crap, a house, crap, townhome, you cannot back out of that contract at that time. So essentially the inspector is helping you identify deficiencies that you're gonna present to the developer or builder to rectify. Because the inspection these days is six, seven, eight hundred dollars, what I tell my clients is save the money and have the home inspected at the 11th month, 11 month mark after completion and then the 59 month mark after completion. So you're probably wondering why. In BC, statutory law that all brand new builds have to come with a warranty, a 2510 warranty. The two year warranty is a little misleading. Really, pretty much everything is covered in the first year. After the first year, it's mostly materials and labor on mechanical things. So at the 11 month mark, is the best time to have the home inspected. Not only is the inspector going to pick up on things they would have picked up on at the time of completion, but also other issues might show up in the first year, especially once the home, townhome or condos has had a chance to go through all the annual seasons, such as winter. And then you present at those deficiencies that the inspector finds at the 11th month mark to the builder or the developer to rectify. Even if the builder or developer have gone bankrupt, you're still covered uh, by the warranty. More importantly, I strongly, strongly recommend my clients always get an inspection at the 59 month mark. Why is that? Because the building envelope is five years or 60 months. This covers everything from the foundation to the roof, windows, siding, etc. These are very, very expensive items. And then at the 59 month mark, if the inspector identifies issues in the roof, issues with the windows, issues with the envelope around the foundation, this you can now submit as a warranty claim before the warranty expires. And what should you do at completion? Well, at completion, you do a deficiency walkthrough with the developer. Hopefully you're also working with an experienced realtor that can attend the deficiency walkthrough and help you identify deficiencies. I have some great templates uh, you can email me for in terms of what to look for at a final uh, walkthrough and purchasing a pre-sale. I'm gonna put a page of such a deficiency uh, checklist here on the side of the screen. The one thing I personally really focus in on is flooring because if you move in and a month later you notice a scratch, the developer is not gonna come back and deal with that scratch because it's gonna be assumed that you caused that scratch while moving furniture into the unit. Once again, in conclusion, I think by far it's most important to do an inspection at the 59 month mark before the envelope warranty expires. That's it for this week, Marco Juras, Fair Realty.